type of text to a girl I used to see Saying that I chose this cuter pie with whom I wanna be And I apologize if this message gets you down Then I cc'd every girl that I'd cc round town And hate to see y'all frown but I'd rather see her smiling Witness on my Hi guys, it's Shakira here back with another video and this one is going to be how I crochet my hair. This is my first time trying crochet and I have been watching like a bunch of YouTube videos and tutorials and stuff and I just thought that it was so pretty on other people and I thought that it would be a good like protective style for me instead of like styling my hair in the coming weeks and everything especially with school starting back and i just wanted something easy where i can just kind of wake up shake and go so this is my first time trying crochet i am going to be showing you how i crochet my hair and also detailing the trial and error that i kind of experienced while doing this hairstyle so you all will be seeing i'm going to talk through um the parts where I'm like actually doing the hairstyle so yes yeah, so I'll like explain everything to you and what I did wrong what I felt like I did wrong and what I felt like I did right so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this I really had like a really good time a really good time doing my hair yeah I guess you can say so I had like a fun time trying to do it and it really didn't take long at all but yeah I'm just gonna let you all see how I did it and before we go any further, don't forget if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that you can see more videos like this and the many more options that I offer here on my channel. Also, don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Comment below, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So the first thing you're going to need for this hairstyle is the crochet hair itself. I will link what I purchased in the description box below because I got it off of Amazon as well as this crochet needle that I got from Amazon as well. You'll need two scrunchies to secure your hair, a rat tail comb, brush, and gel of your choice. I chose Eco Styler. Now the first thing you want to do is section off your hair into two sections. You want to part the top which is where the top, of course, portion of your hair is gonna be, and section off the back where you will have a bun. Now, this is my first time parting it. You'll see in a few seconds, I'm gonna go back and make the part a little deeper, take it further to the back of my head because I want it to bring a little more hair up front. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just bringing a little more hair to the front instead of the back. And your part does not have to be neat. Um, mine look pretty decent, but yours doesn't have to be neat because the hair is going to cover all of this up. Now the first thing you want to do is brush that back section back because you're going to put this in one of the scrunchies that you had from earlier and just make it a tight bun. I messed up because I twisted my hair which you'll see in a little bit instead of just using the scrunchie to secure the whole bun together and it kind of made my hair move around so when you're doing this stuff I suggest you either do it in one braid and make sure that you secure it tightly or just when you're wrapping it around in the scrunchie secure it with the scrunchie so you can make sure that your hair doesn't move and in the front I'm going to put that eco styler just to smooth it down so it's nice and flat and I'm going to secure that as well again when you're doing this step when you're securing it it's hard for me to explain but when you're wrapping the scrunchie around secure it like a bun or make it one braid and secure it very tightly because my buns did come loose and it was very hard to make the crochet hair stay in place
and this is what it looks like after you've sectioned your hair off now I want you all to see how it looks out of the pack because none of the videos I watched showed that this is how it looks and this is how much hair comes in the pack it's already pre-separated but I do suggest even taking that one section that you take off and splitting it into two instead of just using the entire section but I use the one section itself and that is me remembering that that is not the way to do it first you want to put the needle through your hair with the latch open because I had my clothes and it got snatched and that's why I made that face so this is me regrouping so again insert the needle with the latch open wrap that hair around the hook and then close the latch on the hair once you've closed the latch pull it through open the latch and with that loop that you have where the hair was pulled through my hand is kind of blocking it but with that loop you want to pull the end piece of the hair into that loop and pull tightly to make sure that it is secure now I'm going to do the same thing again taking a section of the hair off and again if you would like I would probably split that in two again next time but insert the latch with it open wrap the hair around and then close the latch on the needle pull it through and with that loop just use your fingers to pull the end piece of the hair through the loop and pull tightly to secure it now here I am putting the hair onto the bun so that it's covered in the back of my head so you know we don't want any mishaps or anything like that we want that piece to be covered but you can kind of see my bun is getting very loose here and I mean I haven't had a problem with it so far but you know we want tight buns make sure it's secure so like I told you earlier either braid it or use the um, scrunchie and this is my hair with the one whole pack so I open the second pack and now I'm going up to the top bun to start crocheting up there Now here is where you will see my bun start to move because it wasn't as secure like I was telling y'all earlier. Right there you can see it moving as I'm tightening the hair. So make sure your buns are secure y'all so y'all don't have that problem. Of course this is my first time so I'm learning by trial and error because the videos don't tell you that. So hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I make. And now I'm going to finish this section off off camera and come back and start separating the curls to make it a little fuller and hiding those places where there are gaps or anything like that and don't be afraid to separate it I was afraid at first because I wasn't sure like how big or how frizzy the hair would get so just separate it it looks so much nicer once you started separating everything and I do apologize for this looking washed out my exposure had turned up on my phone so I do apologize but it'll go back to normal in a little bit and now here I'm going and adding some more hair into the bun because I felt some gaps in spaces And make sure you're separating a lot of the hair to the top where that part is so you can make sure that those things are covered up. Now we're going to lay that baby hair down in the front.
and the fun part for me was shaping the hair itself just because I never cut my natural hair so I like to cut some hair every now and again so I'm just shaping it so it doesn't look um, too unnatural you know so I'm kind of cutting downwards pulling the hair a little bit but not pulling it so much that it loses its length but pulling it just a little bit and then clipping the ends to my desired length and I'm just doing that all over my head And it's very helpful if you have someone with you so they can tell you if you missed any sections or if something looks off. So that's why I just asked my mom, like, did I have everything covered? And she told me, yeah. So now I'm going to go up to the top section and start shaping up the ponytail as I would like. And, you know, all of this is, like, customized to you. So do what you do. And this is how it turned out um, I did clip a few more pieces here in the front um, this morning when I woke up before I went to my meeting hence the reason I have on my sweater but I clipped a few and it was only a few from up here but yeah it's pretty nice I like it I got a few compliments today um, with this hairstyle so I hope that this video was helpful to you especially if you're like a first time crocheter like myself so yeah don't forget to comment down below if you enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe why not you're here i love to have you here and thanks guys see you next time bye